organic produce? Attention Walmart shoppers. Want to know what other people are buying? Here are 10 Walmart groceries customers are currently loving. Great value peanut butter. Ted, how many times have I asked you to put the lid back on the peanut butter jar? Another product recall from the Great Value family unearthed just how great the value of this one really is. Due to a salmonella scare back on Valentine's Day of 2007, manufacturer ConAgra Foods started to recall its Peter Pan peanut butter from store shelves. Recall! 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 Attentive customers also noticed that jars of Great Value peanut butter were disappearing at the same time. The company's press release for the Recall denoted that it manufactured large swaths of great value alongside Peter Pan and that they could be identified as having the same product codes on the lid. The truth was out that the whole time the name brand butter was being sold in a different jar at a lower price point. And ever since, folks have been loving great value peanut butter. Great value Louisiana hot sauce. Or spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. A spicy favorite that is struggling with short supply is the famous sauce with the big red rooster. But if you can't get your hands on some real deal sriracha, another off-brand classic from Great Value has swooped in to save the day from spiceless sorrow. The world-famous rooster logo sauce is, of course, Huifang Sriracha Sauce. It is the best. And as much as it can be found on your table at many restaurants to be swirled on Asian favorites, it's also versatile enough to be used on your Western dishes. The sauce is been produced in the same small town in California for over four decades and was doing so steadily until earlier this summer. This was the first time in those 40 years that the company had to officially cancel all future product orders. A company press release put out back in June stated that a severe shortage of the specific peppers used to make the chili portion of the sauce put a halt to their operations. Ongoing droughts in Mexico and California ended up forcing a low-quality crop of red jalapeno peppers this year. Summer heat waves got close to highs of 105 degrees Fahrenheit, which is enough for fruits and flowers to suffer heat stress, and peppers were included in that danger zone. To fill the need for spicy seed, shoppers have come across Great Value Louisiana hot sauce. According to Walmart.com itself, the secret is that this zesty sauce gets its rich, flavorful spice from aged red cayenne peppers, so it'll have a level of heat that will zest up any snack that's missing these sriracha zing. Huifang Foods have since released a statement that production was to resume in the fall, so until sriracha is back up and running at full speed, it looks like Walmart devotees have a perfect alternative. Great Value Tomato Sauce The sauce, oh my god, the sauce. Continue. Another victim of the severe California droughts that have now surpassed their third year of crushing heat isn't just peppers. A different delicious red crop took a hit at harvest time, tomatoes. And Walmart's Great Value canned tomato sauce is sourced directly from the California tomato crops. That sounds bad. One of the main worries for tomato products that are processed is that the water shortages not only affect the growth of the crops, but also the post-harvest process of preserving them in cans and jars or pureeing them into a sauce, which requires large amounts of water during processing. Despite future shortage worries, large-scale manufacturers like Walmart or the familiar Heinz ketchup brand haven't forecast any noticeable issues with the upcoming supply. So while tomatoes might be in short stock one day, customers are currently loving great value tomato sauce while it's still around. New to our channel? Then make our day and hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Next! Great Value Butter Flavor Microwave Popcorn Oh, popcorn's ready. Over the last few years, supply chain woes haven't been uncommon, and plenty of snack foods were affected. While everyone likes going to the movies, they might like the movie munch selections just as much as they like the motion picture. However, the fan favorite of buttered popcorn is still struggling to recover from recent events. When less corn was being sold due to many businesses and industries being closed, farmers were stuck intentionally reducing the harvest of their corn crops, and only now are the numbers getting back to normal. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has recently estimated that approximately 4% less corn was harvested this year compared to 2021, even though 2021 had a total of 1 billion more bushels of corn produced than the rock-bottom point of harvest in 2020. These numbers mean that less corn, and therefore popcorn, is hitting the market at retail points like movie theaters, concerts, or sporting events. Other supply issues popped up, too, when companies that manufactured things like the bags, buckets, and tubs 
that popcorn is usually sold in cut back on their production too. So even if the amount of popcorn being popped is increasing, there are still fewer things for it to be sold in. With all those issues, plus the classic problems of sticky floors and uncomfortable seats, maybe just stay at home for some binge watching and make your snacks there too. What a wonderful idea. Walmart shoppers are currently loving great value butter flavor microwave popcorn, and its convenience makes it easy to see why. Great value original pancake and waffle mix. Pancake. Take specific note of this one, since customers are currently loving the original flavor pancake mix from Great Value only. That's because in March of 2022, the buttermilk version of Walmart's pancake and waffle mix was pulled from shelves. While no injuries or contaminations were reported at the time, a full lot of Great Value buttermilk pancake and waffle mix was recalled due to suspicions from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. A manufacturing incident at their Continental Mills factory in Washington state led to what was deemed potential contamination, with the suspicion that the chunks of a broken cable had wound up in bags of the buttermilk mix. The affected product was shipped to Walmart stores across the nation, leading to a widespread recall. Any of the purchased mix was returnable to stores for replacement or refund. Well, that is good to know. Naturally, Walmart aficionados swapped their breakfast allegiance to other varieties of pancake mix to get their breakfast fix. So for now, there's only one variety of great value that's good enough for their waffle irons. Great value deluxe whole salted cashews. Bet it's a cashew. Can it be said that customers are currently loving something from Walmart if they can't go nuts? These nuts aren't spreadable like the Great Value peanut butter, but with 18 grams of protein per serving, these nuts are a filling and satisfying Great Value treat too. When the nonprofit watchdogs from Consumer Reports did some research and tested Great Value's cashews against the national brand Emerald Nuts, they preferred Walmart's. That's some better. The reports noted the guys with the green bag actually tasted stale compared to Great Value, and noted Walmart's classic lower price point as well. So it's not nuts to think that a store brand can go head-to-head -head against an established brand name. Great Value Organic Coconut Oil Who's up for coconut oil? With its recent takeoff and popularity as a superfood, coconut oil is the latest hot product in the kitchen. But in addition to its uses as a cooking oil, it's also found success amongst health food influencers for other properties like improving skin health, being an antioxidant, and as a nutritional supplement. They're good for your skin. It's even sometimes touted as having weight loss potential. Walmart's Great Value Organic version is expeller pressed and naturally refined. And like most products in the line, comes with a big discount compared to the name brands. It's a cost-effective way to give this new trend a try. Great Value Olive Oil oh, olive, olive. What's your name, boy? Olive oil? Coconut oil might be new on the scene, but you can't go wrong with the tried-and-true original olive oil. Best known as a cooking product first, Great Value Olive Oil has been reviewed as having a clean and fresh taste with a grassy finish, so it passes the test in the kitchen category. But much like its coconut companion, olive oil is also talented with health benefits up to and including being part of a topical skincare routine. It's also up to par with all the fancy health benefits that are all the rage these days, like being anti-inflammatory and protecting against heart diseases. Long, 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 long. <laughs> with all that versatility, it makes sense why Popeye's girlfriend was named after the stuff and why Walmart customers are currently loving it. Great Value Ultra Soft Toilet Paper Cover house in toilet paper Okay, so it's not technically a grocery that you eat, but everyone eventually needs it, and indirectly, it does have to do with eating. Good old-fashioned TP. And while this toilet tissue product is something you never want to accidentally run out of, it's easy to forget that not so long ago, people had no choice in running out of toilet paper, because it was all gone. <laughs> or at least it was from the store shelves. Bumps in the supply chain were compounded by panic purchasing from consumers, and suddenly toilet paper sales were the hottest ticket in town. The whole mess started when toilet paper became a hot commodity as states and cities from coast to coast began to see huge segments of the population staying home due to health measures. Based on the math available, most TP manufacturers estimated that if people were using their usual amount but staying home way more of the time, there would be about 
40% more TP consumption in the average household. Leading tissue manufacturer Georgia Pacific ships out their quilted Northern and Angel Soft brands of TP across the United States. And in typical times, the company estimates that the average American household goes through 409 rolls of the white stuff every year. Combined with the rest of the country's manufacturers, the USA cranks out over 7 billion pounds of washroom wipe each year. And in the early days of 2020, people wanted every roll of those 7 billion pounds that they could get. Certain places in certain parts of the world went through panic buying phases. In places like China and India, rice and wheat flour were flying off of the shelf as people were worried about what they could eat. But in America, the clear worry centered around TP. And it wasn't alone. Australia, Norway, Hong Kong, and Canada all saw sudden and severe shortages of toilet paper on store shelves. In Canada, for example, the Great White North saw a March 2020 increase in toilet paper sales of 250%. And while that sounds like a lot, nobody was in more of a chase for Charmin than the good old US of A. Nationwide toilet paper sales at home jumped an astounding 845% in March of 2020. That equated to nearly one and a half billion dollars of toilet paper sales in the four weeks of March. By the final week of the month, TP was out of stock at a staggering 70% of grocery stores, and that even included online sellers in addition to off-the-store shelf supply. And a month later, consumer products data tracking showed almost half of all grocery stores in the United States were still out of stock. It seems the shortage was first caused and then continued by a simple run of panic buying. A few people bought more than they needed, and when other people saw empty shelves, they started buying more than they needed too. The supply issues eventually sorted themselves out, but a few years later, everyone is grateful they can find the wonderful wiping stuff at Walmart again. Great value salted butter. No, oh, my hands are covered in butter from making butter. If Walmart shoppers are loving their butter-flavored popcorn right now, then there's a good chance it's because of the added golden topping. While there hasn't yet been a shortage of butter, folks don't need to miss it to appreciate their favorite churned cream. And while some reports suggest that butter is either in high demand or low supply, that's not unusual heading into the holidays. The International Dairy Foods Association has come out with an emphatic no when addressing any concerns about an American butter shortage. Still, there's no cause for alarm if you want to slather your holiday meal with some extra flavor. Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay f calm! There might be fewer bricks of it in the cooler, but your local Walmart should still have plenty of butter to go around. Noise. Bring on more great videos with a tap or a click. Then hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.